Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you're new. Returning after their absolutely fantastic 2015 offering Under the Red Cloud, Amorphis begin their brand new chapter with the Queen of Time. So this record really bowled me over. Amorphis kind of blend the ideas of melodic death metal and this uh, kind of symphony element. One of the biggest positives I've found in the record is it's fantastic to find a singer who is as versatile, both growling, as he is singing. For example, in the B. So here, you know, his, his kind of harsher element is, is showcased, and then you've also got the huge chorus section. where he practically lifts the entire band. The drums are also an incredibly important element on the album because they create this sense of tension. You know, one of the biggest things I noticed about Queen of Time is this cinematic feel, and it would be nothing without the drums. But also, more importantly, on Wrong Direction, where the band begin with this kind of tribal sense with the drums. followed by adding more layers onto the drums to create this real sense of tension. Before this big release in the chorus. You know, this element of, of build-up is, is present throughout the album. It kind of comes to a crescendo perfectly, coupled with Tommy's vocals, and it's absolutely incredible. One of the most interesting elements, as I mentioned previously, is the cinematic elements. The B, for example, begins with this kind of Eurovision-style symphony behind it. then has this kind of Arabian tinge which works its way through. We Accursed is another fantastic example of just how this band bring all of this to the fore. And, you know, the, the symphonic elements are pretty much led by the guitar. The band are incredibly slick with their transitions as well. You can hear it here from where we go into the pre-chorus to the chorus of Wrong Direction. You know, it, it, it's one of those things where it's so well written that you don't even really think about it. There are some interesting time signatures, for example, Daughter of Hate and the Heart of the Giant, um, which, you know, the, the latter is very much probably one of the most progressive tracks on the record and kind of has this, this real build-up around it featuring both symphonic elements and also more kind of progressive elements. You know, it, sometimes it almost reminds you of a bit of Jethro Tull. And there's also various different experimental instruments, for example, saxophone on Daughter of Hate, and fantastic keyboard solos in Heart of the Giant and We Are Cursed, and somewhat similar to a sitar in The Golden L. And also another fantastic surprise was the appearance of Annika van Giersbergen, who I absolutely love, and you need to check out Vur if you've not listened to her already. On the track Amongst Stars, it's got interplay between Annika and Tommy, and it works absolutely fantastically. But We Are Cursed has to be probably my favourite track on the record, because it brings this sensibility of almost Nightwish meets a monomath and has this, this symphonic element that, you know, really brings you into the song and it, it really encompasses everything. But then they've not forgotten their melodic death metal roots. And Grain of Sand has also got some pretty cool guitar solos aside from that. There's also some fantastic folky sections as well, so the band don't lose their heritage in Message in the Amber. And the only real negative I would say is perhaps the album is a little bit long. You could have ended on Amongst Stars and it would have been a high point to finish. But perhaps it was just a little bit on the long side, but if you enjoy that, then I'm sure you'll find plenty to love. In terms of the artwork, the artwork is pretty busy, um, but it's meant to represent the concept of the bee, which is the queen of time. Essentially, if we didn't have any bees, we would all be dead. 
it reflects the concept of the album fantastically. There are some absolutely fantastic moments on Amorphous's Queen of Time and some elements that will definitely bring this high up in people's end of year lists. So much to love on Queen of Time. For that reason, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I know I'm giving a lot of stuff 4 out of 5 at the moment, but there is just such good music out there. Amorphous's brand new album Queen of Time is set for a May 18th release via Nuclear Blast and you can pick it up right underneath me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to tune in to my apocalyptic anniversary series over on Metal Sucks, and I'll see you next week for another review. Alright.